totally committed to improving this team. What's new is, or what's old rather, is new again. Tonight, the Pacers' former associate coach is now the team's new head coach. Larry Bird did not have to look far to find the new voice he was looking for to lead the Indiana Pacers. Nate McMillan sat alongside Frank Vogel for three years as associate coach, and now he's the one leading the way. We have team coverage tonight, including reaction from the fans, and we start with sports anchor Michael Green. Yeah, thank you. This is a decision that has a lot of fans talking, not only about the move to make Nate McMillan head coach. Some are still feeling that Frank Vogel wasn't given a fair shake. Either way, it's a new era, a new direction, and though many question whether or not McMillan represents a new voice, keep in mind that for the past three years he was operating under Vogel's vision. Now it's his turn to implement what he feels is best for the team. And Larry Bird is a believer. Uh, I believe in Nate. I've admired him from afar for a long time. Uh, I like the, the job he did in Portland. I like his demeanor. Um, I like the old school. I like the players be held accountable. I like structure. Um, I like a lot of things that, that Nate brings to the table. I'm not saying that Frank didn't have them, but um, I've always admired Nate from afar, and, and that's one of the reasons it didn't take me long to make my decision about him. You know, I want this, this state uh, and the Hoosiers to be excited about Pacer basketball. I know they were, but uh, I want that place, I want the banker's life sold out every night. And uh, I want, uh, you know, Pacer fans to be proud of their team and how they go out and play each and every night. And, and you certainly the goal is to continue to win and uh, eventually one day win a championship. So the coaching search is complete. Up next, the building of the roster this offseason. Erica? Michael, thank you. And our team coverage continues with Pacers fans reacting to the new hire. RTV6's Chance Welser joins us live outside Bankers Life Fieldhouse with their thoughts on this. Chance? Is it a flashy hire? Fans we spoke with say no. Is it a bold hire? Same answer. But is it a quality hire? The sentiment seems to be that it is. One fan put it like this. Frank Vogel did a fine job, but the Pacers need to do better than a barely five above 500 playoff record. Others are encouraged by the work McMillan did in Portland, helping to turn then Blazers big man LaMarcus Aldridge into an all-star. They're hoping our new coach can help Miles Turner reach that same level. I'm pretty stoked because, like I said, I'm from Portland originally, and I think he did good work with the Blazers, um, especially since, like, we've seen that team turn around quite a bit. I know the Pacers could kind of use some help here and there, and Nate McMillan can bring the hammer down when he needs to. We have, we have a lot of powerhouses, Paul George, George Hill. I mean, like, and we need, like, we can get somewhere, but we have to have the right head coach, the right, the right coaches for us. And now with the head coaching needs addressed, fans can turn their attentions to the roster, which will hopefully be improved by way of the NBA draft, which is now less than six weeks away. Live downtown, Chance Walser, RTV6.